Hi. In this video, we'll be looking at testing for SSRF with Burp Suite. Server-side request forgery is a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to induce the server-side application to make requests to an unintended location. These vulnerabilities may enable you to communicate with back-end systems that are not normally publicly available via a compromised server. This is often done via non-routable private IP addresses. You can use Burp Intruder to help enumerate these IPs and potentially gain access to the backend systems. Before you test for SSRF, you need to identify a suitable attack vector. For example, this could be a request with a parameter that contains a full or partial URL. To learn more about identifying SSRF attack surface, have a look through the Finding Hidden Attack Surface for SSRF Vulnerabilities topic on our Web Security Academy. For this demo, we'll be using the Basic SSRF Against Another Backend System Lab from this topic. Once the lab has launched, identify a request that appears to cause data to be fetched from another backend system and use as input controlled by the user to determine where the data is fetched from. In this example, we can use the stock check feature and its stock API parameter. Once identified, we can send the request to Burp Intruder. I have it here in the proxy HTTP history tab, so I'm going to send it to Intruder using the right-click menu. At a suitable payload position that will allow you to probe for internal IP addresses or private host names. In the lab, we can see it's using an internal IP address, so we can add a payload to the last octet in the IP address. We're now going to modify the path to point to the root and remove any query and fragment strings. Then we're going to go to the Payloads tab and set the payload type to Numbers and configure it to step through from 1 to 255 so we can test all IPs within the range 192.168.0.1 through to 255. Click Start Attack. As we check through the results, we can look for payloads that return a different status code or length. We can see here that one of the payloads returns a 404, so we could then investigate this further to try and find a path that exists on this server. 